up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome in today's video i am doing a zara haul i haven't done a full sit down zara haul in quite some time but this video is different because i need your help deciding on my birthday dress in this video actually i'm getting ahead of myself let me backtrack I'm doing a whole video on how I am elevating my style, how I'm kind of changing my style and making and building a wardrobe that is more conducive to my lifestyle. So that is something you're gonna be seeing on my channel very soon. And in doing that, I wanted to kind of build like the fancier part of my wardrobe with dresses that I feel comfortable wearing, that I like wearing. My style has definitely evolved as I've gotten older. I'm turning 25 at the end of this month and as I've gotten older, my style has become a little bit more refined. A lot of the dresses that I actually owned were extremely skin tight, extremely short. They're just not really my style anymore. And I'm actually gonna be selling a lot of my dresses that I still love, but maybe I just don't wear as much. Before we get into the video, I just wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I've been using BetterHelp for over over a year now. I talk about them all the time. I'm like a broken record. I talk about them all the time to my family, to my friends, to you guys. If you guys don't know, BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. In my personal experience, I was always that person who was like, I don't need therapy. I don't suffer from anxiety or depression or things that you might typically think you need to see a therapist for. But especially when the pandemic hit and especially from my last relationship, I needed some help. I didn't know exactly what was wrong. I can't even explain how much my therapist, her name is Lauren. I just love her to death. She is like my favorite person on the planet. I can't even explain how much she's helped me because especially getting out of my last relationship, I didn't even know who I was as a person and she really helped me navigate that and figure out what I liked, what truly made me happy. So with BetterHelp, what's amazing is that you might not have access to a therapist in your area in a timely matter when you need it, or you might not have the therapist that you need, but they have over 20,000 trained therapists in all different areas of therapy. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire on the BetterHelp website and then they will assess your needs and match you with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. And as soon as they do that, you can schedule a video or phone session. You can share unlimited messages with your therapist and it is all completely 100% confidential. My absolute favorite feature about BetterHelp is that you get to do it from your own home. You can do a phone call or a video call, whatever you're comfortable with. You don't have to sit in waiting rooms. You don't have to leave your house. You can do it on your schedule, however many times you need it a week. And they make it so easy for you to be able to change your therapist if you don't click with them, which is so incredibly important. You can join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with BetterHelp. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And you can get 10% off your first month when you go to betterhelp.com slash Tony. I will also leave it linked down below in the description box for you. Okay, so now let's get into the haul. For my birthday, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. It's My birthday is always very low key. I'm not really a big extravagant, like throwing a party for myself kind of birthday girl, but I do like getting dressed up and going for a nice dinner with all of my friends and families. That's probably what I'll be doing this year. My birthday's on a Monday, so I'll probably go out on a Saturday. I want something that's not too over the top. Like I really, when I go out, I do not want to draw attention. I do not want, I, I'm not going to be wearing like a tiara and a feather boa. I think I'm going to start with my absolute favorite dress, which I actually ordered in two sizes because I wasn't sure which one would fit. With Zara's dresses, you really don't know. Sometimes I'm an extra small, sometimes I'm a medium, sometimes I can't even fit a medium up my thigh, so you really never know. So I ordered this dress. How beautiful is this dress? Okay, so many things we need to discuss. I ordered it in a small and an extra small, and the extra small ended up just fitting way better. The small was really just floating on me and it wasn't flattering at all. So you have this corset kind of detail. It is a little mini dress. It has pocket details and it is in a beautiful blush beige color. And then on the back, you have this tie detail. There were just so many things I loved about this dress. The buttons. I loved that this was a little bit more sheer and see-through. For reference, I am five foot one and typically I wear 
a small. So I would recommend sizing down in this dress. Okay, so this is a dress on. I just have to say that this is actually a really difficult dress to get on. I actually got makeup on it, so I'll have to ask my mom to help me get it out. This extra small fits way better than the small did. The small was just overall a little bit too big. The boob area is a little bit weird. I think my boobs might be a little bit too big. You can see the button is popping a little bit. So if I undo the button, I don't know. It might look a little bit better, but you can see... The details here, it's a little bit see-through. And then the back detail is so pretty. Um, and I just have it paired with these platform pumps from Le Tempel. So this is the first option. The next dress everyone was asking about, and I don't typically buy things with lace. Lace is not something I typically gravitate towards, but something just really drew me to this dress. It's this dusty mauve color, again, with the corset details, but this time there is lace going around the entire back of the dress. And this one goes a little bit longer. It's like midi length, and then it has a little slit. This one is really nice. The only thing for me is like my tummy is not perfectly flat which is totally fine and sometimes I feel like this material unless it's a black or a really dark color is not the most flattering but I do really love all the details of this dress and in this one I got a size small and it is it is tight let me just tell you it is tight Okay, so this is the next option. I'm beyond obsessed with this dress. I have to say it is extremely beautiful and flattering. The only thing is that my boobs might be a little bit too big for it. This is what I'm talking about um, when it comes to this material, just showing everything. Not something I would typically highlight, but I think it's still a very beautiful dress. I just have it paired with some lay down about heels. And this is the back of the dress. I wasn't actually able to do it up the entire way by myself. Zara right now has a lot of dresses like this. If this one isn't exactly your cup of tea or something you'd want to wear, they do have other dresses similar to this that are in white. But just look at the details of this dress. Okay, this next dress, I'm a little bit disappointed, not even going to lie. It is... Again, like I said, I want something just really simple but beautiful. I pictured myself with like a really pretty blowout with this, but I got an extra small and it is too tight like I can zip it up but it is not flattering and I can't breathe and this material again it's just like I don't find the most flattering on my specific body I think the silhouette of this dress is absolutely beautiful and I love so many details about it but a it doesn't fit and b it just didn't live up to all of my expectations also it has this like flap here which I find is a little bizarre it looks kind of like I'm wearing an apron if that makes sense. This dress I can't even zip up. <laughs> I'm sure I could get it up um, if someone helped me, but I can't definitely not get it up myself. I think that if I had it in the right size, it might be flattering. Like I really do like how simple and beautiful it is, but the size just doesn't work for me. Should I show you guys this next dress, my favorite dress, the one I think I'm gonna wear, or should I save the best for last? I'm like so conflicted because this dress will change your life. Like I am not trying to be dramatic. It is by far the most flattering dress, the most flattering silhouette on a dress I have ever come across in my entire life i initially ordered it in this color which is white and then i tried it on and i immediately ordered it in every color they had and i probably if they release more colors will continue to order it in every color they come across it is this dress right here and i know it probably doesn't isn't doing much for you but the way it sits on your body makes you it's such a simple dress right it, there's not much going on it's not like it has lace or embellishments, it's not bedazzled, it's pretty covered up compared to some of the other dresses. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, my style has kind of evolved and changed a little bit and dresses that I used to think were so flattering and so sexy and so pretty, I just am not really comfortable wearing anymore. And for me now, I find that dresses that maybe don't show off as much cleavage or don't show off as much skin, but have the perfect silhouette that show off your curves, 
is a hundred million times nicer and more flattering and sexier than a dress that you know shows everything like i said nothing special going on but the way it sits on your body and the way it elongates your legs and shows off your legs and goes in at your hips everything about this dress is perfect i'm not gonna lie I'm already biased towards this dress. I know I love it. I'm just debating which shoes I want to wear. I have these colorful shoes and these green ones. I'll show you both. Um, these are from Zara. I feel like these are a little bit more summery, but I think the green is just way more my style at the moment. As you guys can see, the fit of the dress is spectacular. On my body type personally, this is just a dress that I prefer wearing. I'm in it. It is definitely a short dress for reference. I am five foot one. But what I love about this dress is that even though it is white, it is double lined and thick enough where it's not see-through. I am just obsessed with this dress and I love it so much. I got it in two more colors. You guys know me. When I find something I like and when I find things that make me feel good, I want it in every color. So I then ordered the two colors that they have. This one is extremely funky. It is a like a fuchsia pink. I'm not exactly sure where or when I'm going to wear this, but I was just so in love with the dress that I was like, I need you. And then I picked it up, of course, in the black. I have to say, these are both gorgeous dresses, the pink and the black, but the white, something about the white is just perfect. And then to go with that dress, normally I keep shoes for the end, but I wanted to give you my like whole idea. To go with that dress, I picked up these shoes, which again, they're not typically my style, but having this bejeweled detail on the toe is so in right now. You're seeing it literally everywhere with Amina Muadi. You see it all the time with Manolos. There's that big bejeweled detail on the toe. And this is so not my style typically, the rhinestones, the bejeweledness, but there was something about the shoe, the shape of the heel and how dainty and pretty it was that I just thought like I absolutely needed this shoe. <laughs> I love how this is how I'm showing the shoe to you. This is the dress in hot pink. Normally I don't go for hot pink colors. As you guys know, I stick to neutrals, white and black, but I just absolutely loved the fit of this dress that I had to get it in every color possible. This is definitely something I would probably only wear on my birthday because the color is so flashy. I feel like it's appropriate for a birthday dress and I just have it paired with some ankle strap heels because I wanted the star of the show to really be the hot pink dress. So if I'm being honest, I don't love the black one as much as the other colors I got. I think it's just a little bit, you know, it's a little black dress. There's nothing much going on. I do love the cut and the fit of this dress. It's just not as wow as the white or the other color I got. These dresses are definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe, but if I had to get one, I would get the white one. This next dress, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed about, and it's not even a contender, but I thought I might as well show you guys. Um, it's this dress right here, and what really drew this to me was the seashells on the sleeves. I thought that it's just so summery and so beautiful, um, and then it has a tie front detail. However, it is see-through, and I don't know why any store sells white things that are see-through, because who's wearing that? Like, how... How can you wear a white see -through? Like if you are a brand and you are listening to this, if you have anything that is white, please double check and make sure it is not see-through. And I know it's a white linen, but I have white linen that is not see-through. It can be done for the summertime with the seashells on the sleeves. I could have seen myself wearing this, but I, you can't. You literally can't unless you wanna flash the whole world. This next dress, you're gonna be alarmed. When I show you this next dress, I guarantee you're gonna be like, where is Tony? Who is this person sitting in front of me? Because Tony would never buy this. And you're so right. Like in the past, I never would have bought this dress, but I have truly grown to appreciate a good pattern. And I don't think that this is my birthday dress by any means, but I think for like a cute summer vacation and for summer, this is so pretty. The print really reminded me of like classic Dolce & Gabbana and it was Anyways, you'll see. So this is 
the dress and the silhouette of this dress and the cut of this dress is so again flattering that Zara needs to make this in every colorway possible. Like, solid patterns, I swear this dress would fly off the shelf in a solid print because the way it is is just so beautiful. You have this top part and the back is so pretty. It has all these little like stringy details and then you have the cutout waist and it is a long flowy dress. I guess if you're taller, it would probably be a midi dress, but on me, it is a maxi dress where it goes to my ankles. And I love the colors of this dress. I feel like I need to be walking through like the Italian countryside in this dress, the terracotta and the deep yellows with the purple, which I never, I don't even like purple, but for some reason in this dress, the colors just really worked together. I think with a cute pair of slides, or even if you wanted like a pair of like gold heels. So I know this dress is definitely not something I would typically wear. This pattern is just, I don't own anything like this, but I'm obsessed with the colors and the pattern of this dress. Like I said, it's giving me Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> um, and there's so many beautiful details of this dress, like the back, look at that. This dress needs to be made in every single color. I just have it paired with these Tony Bianco mules, which actually gave me the worst blisters the last time I wore them, so proceed with caution. But overall, this dress like definitely is not my birthday dress. I'm just throwing it out there, but it's definitely the perfect dress for the summertime. It is, of course, coming with me on my trip I'm going on next week. I love it. Who am I? Who am I? The last dress is a linen dress. Again, I don't know if this would be my birthday dress, but for vacation um, and just to have, it is absolutely beautiful. It has these different strappy details with this kind of mother of pearl hoop looking thing in the back and it goes to the midi length as well. I have a dress similar to this in white, but it's a little bit fancier. This one I think could be dressed up or dressed down with a pair of slides or with a pair of heels super easily. So even though this one is very casual and simple, I do see myself possibly wearing this for my birthday with a really nice pair of black heels to dress it up and a cute little black bag. Okay, so this is the black linen dress. I am obsessed with it. I love that it is definitely a fancier vibe. However, However, because it's linen, it kind of casualizes it a little bit. It is a little bit tight on my boob area. The one thing I don't love about this is that you can see the beautiful details on the back and it is, this part is extremely stretchy. However, the straps are not adjustable. So if for whatever reason they're too tight, you cannot change them. They are borderline being too tight on me. So this dress also goes to my ankles. I just have it paired with some Stuart Weitzman ankle strap heels and there's a really pretty slit on your leg. This again, you can dress it up like I did with a pair of heels or it would look super cute with a pair of slides to kind of dress it down. And lastly, I got two tops. This one I think is my favorite because I have absolutely nothing like this. You'll see it better when it's on. There's something about a one shoulder top that will always get me. I don't know what it is. I just find it so flattering and so beautiful. It has a little wrap front twisty tie detail. It has um, this one sleeve. It's a little bit puffy, the sleeve, and it's a little bit long, but I don't care. It is still so pretty. I could also do a jeans and a top moment. So this top is absolutely beautiful. I'm not over it. I don't think I will ever be over it, especially with a tan. I just threw it on with a pair of jeans. These are also from Zara. This is a strong contender like over the first depending where I go obviously this still makes me feel really Pretty and like, you know special enough for my birthday But definitely a little bit more casual if you wanted to dress it up even further I think it would look really good with a pair of leather pants or even with a pair of white trousers for like a full white moment and then this top again with the corset details i just love a good corset in my absolute favorite color if you lift this extra piece of fabric up it has 
these like little bra areas and then it has a bunch of excess fabric on top you would think it would be a little bit see-through but it's actually not i think this would look really cute with a pair of leather pants or a pair of like i don't want to say cargo pants but like my utility pants from aritzia or a pair of jeans white linen like th this top can go with anything and it is so pretty so this is also a contender i know i said i wanted to wear a dress but i think that maybe even this with like a pair of leather pants would be so pretty so here i just have them paired with the command pants from aritzia they're in this really nice bone creamy light beige white not a stark white but it pairs really nicely with the top so this honestly is a contender for my birthday i really need your help you guys because every outfit i tried on i love i guess it really depends where i pick to go definitely like a birthday worthy outfit all right you guys so that is it for my zara birthday dress haul i need your help i want to know which dress you think i should wear on my birthday what your favorite dress was leave it in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week as per usual i will leave everything i picked up linked down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out better help and get 10 percent off your first month with the link in the description i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys back here next time bye Thank you.